Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Berberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Berberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea. I'm guessing because it's already night when I'm filming this, this image is going to be horrible. So I apologize in advance because of that. Um, but anyways, you know, you know, the important thing is just to give you the tea, right? And I have a little piece of tea, like it's involving literally like the whole Bravoverse. And I think it was kind of interesting and I need to tell you, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family where I give you the tea from anywhere around the world, no matter how bad the quality of the camera is, girl, I mean, this is the place because we are messy AF, all right? You know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. So, apparently, according to several sources out there, the Bravoverse is shaking. Shaking, guys. So, with this whole reboot of The Real Housewife of New York, okay, it bigger than what people might think and the reason of this is that if they reboot Real Housewives of New York completely and it becomes a success it's basically the start for a whole new era of Bravo okay and this means that not one franchise, not only of Housewife, but like any show from Bravo is safe from a complete reboot, okay? Uh, and people are scared. People are, I mean, we're talking about Bravo celebrities. They are scared. And there are especially a couple of uh, shows well, not a couple, like some shows specifically that they need to either step it up or basically they are wishing that the reboot of Roni is a complete disaster, okay? And we are talking about the real housewife of Atlanta, the real housewife of Orange County ladies, and the people from uh, Vanderpump Rules, okay? So, apparently, you know, it's not a secret. These shows has, they got, let's say that it's not, has not been doing quite well, you know. Uh, Vanderpump Rules, I mean, they had a, a good season nine, but it wasn't their best season. And everything is a little bit chaotic right now with Vanderpump Rules, okay. Last season of The Real Housewife of Atlanta was horrible you know it wasn't as bad as the, as the last season of new york but it was like mm, you know so now they need this new season to really really make it happen and the ladies from the real houses of orange county they know that if they are not stepping it up and doing a good job they could be the next ones to actually be completely reboot okay so, of course, if if Roni end up being a success, this basically means that we, the viewers, are over the OGs. And we are over the legacy, you know? And we are over the same thing over and over and over, right? So, basically, it, 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 that we are ready for a change. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, like, when Roni becomes a success which I really think that new Roni is going to be a success. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid of change. You know, a lot of people wish that we had, I don't know, Ramona Singer, like walking uh, with a walker, you know, and picking up guys like four years younger than her in like 20 years. You know what I mean? Uh, and they are so, uh, and they're very afraid of change. But 
the group of people who are actually craving new storylines, craving something modern and a new twist is growing bigger and bigger and bigger, you know? So I'm thinking that by bringing a whole new generation of housewife with fresh faces, fresh storylines, if they are interesting enough, if Bravo knows what they're doing, if Bravo might take, a, you know, a page of, or two from, let's say, Miami on Peacock, if they do a great job, the new Roni is going to be amazing. You know, it's it's, it's going to be great. I'm, we're talking about a, a whole new group of women uh, on their late 30s or early 40s as they were, you know, 13 years ago uh, for the OGs. So I think that's going to be very exciting. I mean, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, like looking forward to it, but yeah. Now, if that's a success, what is going to stop Bravo to really reboot, let's say, Atlanta? And because, you know, Atlanta has been... Usually, Atlanta was the number one show in Bravo. Everyone loved Atlanta. But last season, especially since Nini Leaks left, it has been a little bit shaky. But even worse than Atlanta, it's OC, you know? And even though this season of OC is way better than season 15... It's still shaking. It still has holes. And a lot of people are a little bit tired of the cast that is, you know, right now. Uh, they thought that only by bringing Heather Dubrow, it, it was going to be this huge success. Now, I don't know. I leave it to you. And then, um, of course, we have Vanderpump Rules. And then it can go from there. I mean, we're talking basically every single show. If the actual cast is not working it means that you know they can just change it and I think that's the thing Bravo was afraid for so long to reapply the formula just you know being afraid of losing viewers and, and fans but once Roni works out it's going to be like crazy like heads will roll everywhere and no one's no one jobs is going to be safe. And we're talking about uh, Beverly Hills or New Jersey or um, um, Southern Charm, Shots of Sunset. You know, like any show, any show that it won't work, it will be easily, you know, changed. Almost kind of like a below deck situation, you know, that every season we just get new people, you know, and then we move on from there. So, I don't know. I mean, look, I love being connected to people. I wouldn't like I wouldn't like a below deck situation where they change every single season. Um but I am I I am agreeing like, you know, at some point how long can a housewife really maintain a good storyline? There are very few. I think the only one honestly who who can say that has keep us interesting interest the whole time has been Teresa Judice. She is the only housewife. No one else, to be honest. So anyways, that's the tea. Bravoverse is shaking. Everyone is shaking for their jobs. And they are very afraid. And some people might be even wishing the wars for the Roni reboot. So let's see what is going to happen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for Roni? Uh, do you think that everyone deserves to be rebooted? Um, what do you think, guys? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.